my cuties. I hope you guys are doing so well. Um, yeah, I have a giant enormous bag of nail supplies from Timu. And I wanna show you guys the supplies I got so that I can start using them. So this is another massive Timu haul. I honestly don't remember how much I spent on this one because I think it's like three different orders in one that I've just had in a box just waiting to be filmed for this haul video. And let me see if, does this have the date on it for when I actually received it? 5.15. So this order is from May and now it's like the middle of July. So yeah, I feel like I say this every single time, but it's been a really long time since I've ordered this and I forgot everything that I ordered, which kind of makes it more fun, but also makes me question if I needed this stuff in the first place. But you know what? We're not questioning things because I have epic nail supplies to go through now. I'm not complaining. So let's get into this haul. If you see my hair flowing in the wind, uh, just try to ignore that. I hope it doesn't bother you too much. It is really hot in here and I cannot sit here and film without a fan blowing directly onto me. So yeah, sorry about that. Okay, so I didn't organize this stuff at all. I'm just gonna pick things out of the box as we go. It'll be like a, almost like a little mystery box. What did Anne order three months ago? Let's find out. Charms, obviously. Y'all know I'm crazy. I'm crazy for charms, crazy for Cocoa Puffs. Anyway, so these are just some really cute, like punk silver gunmetal charms. Got some crosses, stars, hearts, little like X's. I don't know what you call these. These are super cute. These actually would have been perfect for this set that I have on right now. Next, we have got some extra, extra, extra long coffin nail tips. Wow, these are really, really long. Let's see, are they longer than the ones I have on right now? Yeah, they're a bit longer than the ones I have on right now, which is epic because I love me some long nails. Like this length over here is perfect for me. Yes, I bang them into everything and it's scary. This is the length that makes me happy. And I'm sure that going even longer will be super fun. I see a big old package. Okay, I do not know what this is. It feels like files. I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna be. Oh yes, a lot of files. Why do I need this many files? I literally reuse the same file like 15, 20 times before changing it out. But you know what? At least now I don't ever have to worry about running out of files ever again. These ones are 80 by 80. That's the grit that I like to use. I feel like it keeps everything really sharp because it's super gritty, especially when like filing acrylic. It's mostly what I use these for. So glitter, oh my God. Look at how pretty these hollow stars are. Oh my. I love glitter so much. Um, now I'm kind of sad that I didn't have these when I filmed my um, chalk custom acrylic video, but you know, that just means we're gonna have to film a lot more custom acrylic videos. Holy shit. Look at how pretty. I love these so much. They're like blessing my heart and soul. They are blessing my eyeballs. I'm so glad I decided to film this video today. It is giving me so much life. This is my therapy, you guys. This is why I cannot do a no buy. Buying things like this is my therapy, okay? If you don't live in the US, then you don't know, but therapy costs like $500 per session here. So yeah, solid nail gel. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Pretty sure. Oh, we're gonna have to cut her open. Oh, yo. Dude, this is packed to the brim. Do you see this? <gasps> that is so pretty. I really wanna get into doing even more 3D nail art than I do now. And this is so freaking pretty pretty. My goodness. Dude, there's no way. Oh, that was so satisfying. That bubble popping. Okay, let's just open all of these up and see what we've got. Okay, so this one's like, has like a green kind of shimmer to it. It's like orange and tan and has like a greenish shimmer. And these are so soft. I don't know if it's because it's like very hot in my room. So pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of like zoom through these. Also, yes, I do live in San Diego. And yes, I do always complain that it's hot. What some people don't realize about living in San Diego during the summer is it doesn't get so hot that you're like burning alive, but it gets hot enough to be slightly uncomfortable and just make you kind of sweaty if you're sitting in your room for a while, but it doesn't get hot enough to 
close all of the windows up every day and turn on the AC. So most of the time, all the time, I don't have my AC on, which is why I'm always complaining that I'm hot. Anyway, just in case you were wondering, some people living in like Arizona might be like, why are you complaining that it's hot? Like you live in San Diego. I don't have an excuse to have my AC running 24 seven. I'm really excited to use these in some nail designs. I've seen so many people using like Aurora 3D solid gels to do like mermaid nails and create like organic textures in the nail art. And I feel like you get such a good variety and a pretty good amount, like a pretty generous amount of each of them for the price. So super excited about these. All right, I've got like a million charms in here. So let's just start getting into some of these charms. Okay, so we've got these like little angel bears. Oh, they're so cute. I think I'm gonna pour them out into a little dish for you guys so that you can actually like see what they look like. But I think I might create a separate video organizing all of my new charms. Also, this dish is dirty, which is like not satisfying. I'm gonna show you guys what they look like in the little dish, but then I'm gonna pour them straight back into this little baggie and we're gonna organize them all in a different video. Oh, yeah, of course I would do that. These little bears are so adorable. And there's like a really good variety of colors too, which is so nice. So cute. Let me do this. Let me show you how big it would be on my nail. That's like a perfect size. If you don't like your charms to be too chunky. Got a bunch of bows. These bows kind of remind me of like Sailor Moon for some reason, I don't know why. Oh. oh, so cute. That would actually be so adorable on the specific nail with the strawberries. Yes. The reason I buy so many charms, like people might think that it's a little excessive because I don't do other people's nails. I just do my nails on YouTube. Thing is, like even though I don't do other people's nails, I like to have a really large variety of charms to pick to do my own nails. And it just makes me happy to buy them. So, you know, okay. These I think are supposed to look like little chocolates. So there's little like bows, hearts, dragonfly that's kind of weird a little moon little flowers just some little chocolate charms okay we've got some more bows oh these are little dangly ones <gasps> that is super cute i like the little dangle perfect size there's only two charms in this one these must be extra fancy Whoa, yeah, those look like cubic zirconias almost. That is so sparkly. Look at that. What? That is so sparkly. I'm gonna have to like save these for like my wedding nails or something. <laughs> Dude, I would not feel right using that in a set. I feel like it would just be like an injustice. And I think that I only got two of them. I should have got like 10 of them so that I wouldn't feel so bad using them. Like they've got some weight to them. They feel like they are really good quality. These literally have to be like the most freaking adorable charms in this entire haul. Like just like the most adorable thing, period. Look at these Hello Kitty charms. Oh my holy freaking goodness, bro. There's no way. It's a Hello Kitty on a Macron? A Hello Kitty with a strawberry? A little Hello Kitty bow? Like what? These are so cute. And obviously they don't look like the regular Sanrio charms. I don't know if these came directly from Sanrio. They look like off brand, but like in the best way possible, like in the most adorable way. They're off brand in a way that I am so glad that they're off brand because they're like even cuter than the original. I just need to soak it in. I just need to soak in the cuteness. It's a little Hello Kitty with a baby bottle. Someone suggested that I should do acrylic ducky Y2K Hello Kitty nails. And I actually have like these extra, extra long ducky half tips that I've been wanting to use to do some acrylic ducky nails. And I think that these charms will be absolutely freaking perfect for that idea. I'm just dying over them. I. 
Okay, we're taking a break from the charms because this is a giant bag of glitter. I love these little like sparkle glitters and I will use these. If not in custom acrylics, I like putting glitters now on nails, kind of just like as little sequins, as just like little decals. They look super cute. If you just like glue them on with rhinestone glue gel, cannot wait to use these. Okay, so if y'all know me, this is the brand of dehydrator and primer that I always use. These boxes have got some like holographicness to them. Anyway. So yeah, I just bought a backup of the dehydrator and the primer because honestly, I'm getting kind of low and these tend to be out of stock a lot. So when I made my order and they were in stock, I was like, yeah, let me just, let me just pick those up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, SpongeBob charms. You know, some of the charms that are in here in this bag of like all of my Timu haul might actually be from AliExpress because I know that there were a couple of AliExpress orders that had some charms in them that I just kind of like threw into this Timu bag. So if some of the links that I put down below, because I will link everything that is still available from this haul down below in the description box. Um, and if they don't fit in the description box, I'll do it in a separate doc document and the link to that document will be in the description box below. So yeah, like if some of those links below are to AliExpress, don't be confused. Yeah. Anyway, these are adorable. I remember in one of my colorful July subscription boxes, I got some really adorable SpongeBob charms, like these exact ones. And I had never seen them before. And I told you guys that I would try to like find them and I found them so that you guys can buy them if you want them because these are adorable. Like now I love Rick and Morty, but when I was younger, SpongeBob was my jam. Like I was obsessed with SpongeBob like up until high school. And when I mean like high school, I mean like senior year of high school. I still am obsessed with SpongeBob, but nowadays it's more like Rick and Morty, but you know, love me some SpongeBob. Oh my goodness, these are adorable. <gasps> Look at these. They're my Melody charms. And there's a million of them, so I won't be sad about using them and feeling like they're too cute to use, which I love. I love when things come in giant numbers. Oh my goodness, because then I don't feel bad about using them. And I don't know if you can tell, they've got like a glitteriness to them. And that is like just like the cutest little kawaii face on a My Melody that I have ever seen in my entire life. And they're so tiny. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. I'm literally so obsessed. They're so adorable. Ah. Oh, I wish I had some Karomi ones like this too. I mean, I don't even know. Maybe I did order maybe I did order some Karomi ones like this too, but I don't know, we'll have to get through the entire bag to find out. Okay, these are actually glass beads. And I think I ordered these before I made that video of like putting glass beads on my nails because I had that idea of like putting glass beads on my nails and I don't remember if I intended to include these in that video, but they ended up not being included, which is fine. But yeah, I just think that these little butterflies are so cute. Sometimes I spend so much time shopping online that I've already seen all of the, like the nail charms there are to offer. And if I'm a little bored looking for nail charms, I'm like, you know what, why don't I just look for like beads? Because I haven't seen what the beads have to offer. So yeah, sometimes you can find really cute things to put on your nails if you just look in other craft sections. Oh my goodness. Look at these little piggy charms. What? No way, bro. No way. I'm sorry. Some people get annoyed when I say bro and there's nothing I can do about it. It's just who I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at these. These are adorable. Adorable. And there's like three different colors of them. No, there's four different colors of them. Oh my goodness. And they even, there's even little butts. What? Look at this little piggy butt crack. No way. Like, when am I just gonna put a piggy butt on my nail? I don't know, but like maybe one day I will have a reason to just have a pig butt on my nail. And you know what? I'll have the charms for it. I will be prepared when that day comes. Ooh, these are like some super fancy butterfly charms. 
these are so pretty that is really pretty i definitely get inspired to use these kind of charms when i watch like joe nail videos um if you don't know she's a korean nail artist and she makes like asmr nail videos so all of her videos have like no talking they're just like subtitled but she does the most beautiful nail art and she always includes like these super elegant charms I would love to try to do some more elegant nail art like her. Then I just got these like pointed back rhinestones. There's like some opal ones in there and then just some like regular crystals. No AB ones, which is kind of sad, but they're pretty. I like these pointed back ones for when I do like little clumps of rhinestones. That doesn't, like you guys know when I do like those little clumps of rhinestones where I use like the 3D solid nail glue gel and I just put like a little, like a bunch of big rhinestones together. These pointed ones are like perfect for filling in the little extra spaces in those little like rhinestone clumps so yeah these will definitely come in handy oh hey i did order more of those little flowers those little like super elegant ones okay good i'm happy about that okay here's some little little like y2k planet charms so pretty i see these used a lot in y2k nail art so i'm happy to finally have some Ooh, more glitter more glitter <gasps> Glitter, glitter, glitter. Glitter and charms galore. Make me happy. Yes, this is such a cute one that I could just literally just dump into clear acrylic and it would make the most beautiful, the most beautiful custom acrylic ever. Now I wanna make another chalk custom acrylic video. Like I wanna do it like today. I wanna do it now because putting glitter in acrylic with colors is just like food for my soul. It just makes me so happy. Okay, I've got some more of those elegant flowers, but these ones are gold. Oh, and they their back has kind of like got like a curve to it. I don't know if those silver ones had like a curve to the back as well, but these ones do. They must have had a curve to the back because they're like the same thing, just different colors. I just did not notice. I am definitely more of a silver girly. Yeah, I just like silver a lot. Maybe gold would look good with my skin tone, but I feel like silver. I just like silver. More glitter. So this one's like just some like super fine embossing powder type glitter with this really amazingly beautiful purple reflection. Wow, that is so pretty. Oh, dude, all of these glitters are making me want to film a custom acrylic video so bad. Okay, I'm gonna try to stop saying that, but just know that every single time I pull out a glitter that I love, it's making me want to mix it with acrylic really badly. Okay, so here are some of those like piercing charms. They're kind of like punk, cute. I see these also used a lot and I've never had any of them. So I'm glad to have them now. A very nice variety of them. Okay, these ones are kind of interesting. Oh, and it looks like the back of them is kind of like scored. You see that? The back has like some texture. I wonder if they did that on purpose to help them like adhere to your nail better and not fall off when you put them on gel. They've got this super pretty like mother of pearl slash like labradorite sort of coloring to them. Very pretty. Here's a little organizer of some more like kawaii charms. I always get confused what's the top and the bottom. You know, I'm not even, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna open it right now. I'm just not gonna do that. I don't wanna have to pick all of these up off of my desk. But look at these, they're so cute. There's little pandas, little Hello Kitties, little bunnies, little froggies, little duckies. We've even got this little like Sanrio guy, little doggy over here. What is his name? I always feel so dumb when I forget the names of Sanrio characters. The only ones I remember are like Karomi, Hello Kitty, My Melody, cinnamon roll and like Karopi. <laughs> the dogs always evade my mind. I can never remember the names of the dogs. These are super cute. And then we've got some more charms. Ooh, these ones are like really pretty bat wings with hearts in the center. These will be really cool to create some like emo nails or just like Halloween nails coming up. Definitely gonna start doing Halloween nails in September, um, especially because I go back to school in like October, end of September because my school is like a quarter system. I wanna do all of the Halloween nails that I can possibly do. Probably gonna start doing them in September. <gasps> oh my goodness, these 
These are freaking adorable. <gasps> no. No. No way. These are, oh goodness. These are so cute. I love these so much. They look off brand, but again, they look like off brand in a way that's like super cute to me. Like I really like them. <laughs> they look like just so like chubby and fat and they have like this really cute like jelly, almost like gummy look to them. And I'm dropping them everywhere because I'm too excited. Like why does off brand My Melody and Hello Kitty just always look so cute? These are so cute. I love it when charms have like this this look to them they're just blessing my soul this video is giving me so much life right now i'm sure you guys were like expecting a video on wednesday i'm actually filming this on wednesday but i didn't get to upload on wednesday because i've been a little busy it's been a little stressful i've got something going on nothing bad though it's something very very good that i want to tell you guys about but i'm not going to tell you about in today's video and thinking about it is making me want to hurry up with this video so let's keep moving so we're gonna take a little break from charms because i've got some e-file bits that i bought in this haul i bought a lot of e-file bits in this haul i think because i realized that like having a good e-file bit makes filing your nails a lot easier i bought this one it's like a medium coarse and it's got this little jewel on the top, which is mostly the reason why I bought it. There is not too much room left in my little e-file bit organizer. And then I bought this little package of cone bits because I like using this bit, but I just don't have a very good variety of coarseness of them. So now I've got all of the coarseness from extra fine to extra coarse. Okay, this is a bit that I was really excited for. It's like this really long barrel. Like, do you see this? And I feel like it's gonna make it a lot easier for me to file my extra, extra long nails because it's so long. I haven't really seen people use this bit too much or like, at all, but I think it's gonna be really good. And it also comes with one of those little like dust stopper things in it, which kind of like protects your e-file from all of the dusties. So I'm really excited about this one. Definitely gonna add this one in here to be used. Barely, barely fits in my organizer. We've got some more glitter. So this one is a lot like the other one that I showed you earlier, but this one is blue themed. Some gold stars, which is like very mermaid-esque, I feel like. Some adorable little bunny charms. These are so cute. And these are super tiny. Like these are tiny, tiny. That would be perfect if you like doing really short nails, like just nail art on your natural nail. Ooh these are adorable okay so these are like the same kind of thing as those my melody charms that i was freaking out about earlier where they're like a little glittery they've got like a little purple reflection to them but it's the little like oh, what's his name it's the bear from toy story is it grumpy bear no it's not grumpy bear it's funny to me that in that movie he's like the super villain but he's such like a cute character i would like totally put him on my nail oh oh ah Super cute little guy. Just looks so chubby and browned. <laughs> I got a whole package of these little like rhinestone trays. I think that these are used for like diamond painting. So I have this heart shaped one that I like to use, but I find that when I'm trying to use multiple colors of rhinestones or multiple sizes, it's really annoying to have them all in one because then if I have extras that I took out, it's really hard to like have to sift through them all one by one and put them back into their containers. So this one comes with like five of these little trays and it has this little spout thing so that you can pour the rhinestones back into their container when you're done which is super convenient because i'm very clumsy and always spill them everywhere so it'll be really nice to just like have all of these so that i can put all the different rhinestones in their own little tray whenever i'm putting a variety of different sizes or colors of rhinestones on my nails have them nice and organized some cute little heart charms how oh, they come in gold and silver Silver. So we've got the AB ones, which have like all the different colors of reflections to them. The red ones, and then just the regular crystal ones. 
Ooh, okay, these are some really pretty, like, jelly, glittery butterfly charms. I use butterfly charms a lot, so I like to have a nice variety of them. Very pretty, you can barely see it on this nail, but she's perfect. So pretty. I feel like I've been sitting here for absolutely forever and this bag is still very full. We've got more of those little bear from Toy Story charms. I really just love anything that's strawberry or like pink themed. This is such a cute variety of charms. Can't even tell what is happening in this charm. It looks like he's flying through the air. Ice cream cone bear, little bear on a strawberry. So my flash cure light from Savaland that I used for a really long time actually broke because the button on it got gel on it and then it cured. So yeah, that one was ruined. So I saw this one and I bought it. And this one also looks like it could easily get cured stuck. But yeah, this is just a little flash curing light to flash cure things on my nail. Very convenient and handheld. I actually also recently, like a couple days ago, made an order from Sweetie Nail Supplies and I bought the pin cure light. I don't remember what brand it is, like Devoc or something, but I will definitely have that in my Sweetie Nail Supply haul at some point. Maybe, you know, since I ordered it like a couple days ago, that supply haul will probably be in another two months from now, but <laughs> Yeah, I'm really curious to see how this super cheap one from Timu compares to the $40 one that I bought from Sweetie Nail Supplies. Cute, like, Aurora heart charms. And they've also got a little curvature to them to help them, like, sit on the nail better, which is very nice. These ones also feel, like, heavy. Like, they're very nice, solid quality. Maybe you don't like if your nail charms are heavy, but I kind of like when my nail charms have got some weight to them because I like when my nails feel, like, heavy. <laughs> okay, this it looks like a very sturdy pair of nippers. You know what, I think I actually, oh, why is it wet? Ew, what? There is nothing in that bag that is wet, so I don't know why this is moist, but that's kind of weird. I think I actually bought these because I forgot that I had already purchased these ones. So yeah, now I just have um, two pairs of nippers for like taking off charms or cutting wire and such. Okay, these, I always see these super chunky Hello Kitty rhinestone decal things on Timu in AliExpress, but I've never bought them before because I was always like, they look too huge. But finally I did it, I bought them and they are massive, but they're very sparkly. And they're very light, like they're very light. They definitely feel like plastic and that's not my favorite, but it's okay because I can imagine having something this huge on your nail and it being heavy would probably be a little annoying to most people, although I would probably like it. But yeah, now we've got these for whenever we decide to do a super chunky like Y2K Hello Kitty set. I could also probably find a use outside of nails for these, like some other sort of craft or hobby. <gasps> oh no way, no way, no way, no way! Oh my god. I did get Karomi charms. Oh my goodness. Remember how when I saw the My Melody ones, I was like, I wish I had Karomi ones. Ah, uh, guess what? I have Karomi ones. Oh my goodness, these are adorable! I love these! These are too cute! I love them. She has like the most cute little kawaii face. Like the most cute little kawaii anime face. I'm just dying. I love them so much and I am so happy that once again it comes with so many of them. You can see like the blue sparkly shimmer that she's got to her. Amazing. More glitter. These glitters always remind me of like opal and they're just like, I think they're called cellophane or mylar flakes. I think they're mylar flakes. They're like mylar flakes. They're so pretty. I need to remember to add them to my custom acrylic mixes more often. I think I already have some of these. I just ordered more because I wanted to like use them more. Ooh, okay. This little box I'm pretty sure is a ring because I love rings. Rings are definitely my jewelry of choice because they are the easiest jewelry to put on when you have long nails. 
Okay, so this one is just like a little wheat. Definitely a bit disappointing because I am 99% sure that on the listing it said that it was sterling silver. And this is definitely tarnished a lot. And it's looking a little bronzy as well. So it's not just like sterling silver tarnished. It's like tarnished tarnished. So yeah, that's kind of disappointing. If I'm still able to return it, I think I probably will end up returning it. Because I have bought rings from Timu that say they're sterling silver and they are sterling silver. Like they haven't tarnished or anything. Um, and I worn them pool, worn them showering and everything. But yeah, this one is definitely not sterling silver. So that's kind of disappointing. Oh no, one of them is missing their ear. Oh, and here it is. I found it, the missing ear. Anyway, these are like little bunnies with little stitches on them. Okay, I got a bunch of these like chunky bow charms with like heart rhinestone in a bunch of different colors. So I'm just gonna quickly zoom through these. They're all super sparkly and they've got like a little rhinestone and a little pearl on top and below the heart. And they're also all flat back. So they have like a perfectly smooth flat back, no curvature at all. I'm loving the different colors of the heart rhinestones. So pretty. There's like a few of these that I'm noticing where the heart came off of the bow, which is like not a really big deal because I can just glue it back on, but it's a little disappointing. Okay, this is a bit random and off topic, but I just like wanted to share it with you guys. Not sponsored, by the way. I got these like earplugs. They're not from Timu. I just, I wanted to use them because I could hear somebody using their leaf blower across the street. And if you don't know, I have like pretty bad ADHD and I also have misophonia. So when I hear like a lot of noises, I get like really overstimulated and um, overwhelmed by certain noises. So one day I got an ad for these. They're just little earplugs. And when you wear them in your ear, it kind of looks like, like it doesn't look like I'm wearing an earbud or an earplug. It just looks like I'm wearing like some sort of ear jewelry. I've told you all before, I get really annoyed when like I hear people breathing or like, I just like when there's a lot of extra noise Noises in the background, it makes me really stressed. So these earplugs, I've been like wearing them whenever I just start feeling a little overwhelmed and they've been helping a lot. So I just wanted to like share with y'all just in case you just see these random silver things appear in my ear, you know what's up. My mom likes to say neuro spicy. I'm a little neuro spicy, okay? I've got brain issues. Uh, so now that I am at peace with my earplugs in, let's get on with this haul. More Sanrio charms, of course, because I can literally never have enough, apparently. A lot of the charms that I mostly get, especially the Sanrio ones, are kind of like that jelly looking texture. They almost look like gummy and they're like sort of transparent. But these ones are totally opaque, which I thought was really cool. I don't have any like this till now. So very nice. So these ones are all butterflies and they're all gold. They've just got different color crystals. So that we've got black, red, like an emerald green, a pink, an AB, and then just a crystal. It's like we've got crystal AB and then just a regular crystal. Okay, so I've got some of these like kind of pearl heart charms. I have a lot of these already in the white color, but I don't have any in these like different colors. So I thought it was about time to have some of those because they're pretty staple. You can use them in basically any set. I got these like glass pink crystals and they're all pointed back. And actually you can barely even tell that they're pink. So let me show you in my hand. So, so pretty. Love these so much. I love using crystals on my nails. I mean, I feel like I don't do it often enough, but I really, really love using crystals on my nails. These are like the cutest little sparkly dragon charms. I love charms that are sparkly. If you couldn't tell already with those like Karomi and My Melody ones. I love when they're like transparent, but they've got a sparkle to them. <laughs> These are so kawaii. There's like little winking ones. Like what? Ah, adorable. These are just like the cutest little chibi dragon charms ever. Okay. These are so 
freaking cute and I had never seen them ever before until I saw them on Timu. And these are capybara nail charms. Like what? They're so cute, look at this. It's a little capybara, like what? Okay, if you don't know what a capybara is, I will um, put one on the screen. They're like the cutest little rodent animals. They're actually like the largest rodent on earth, <laughs> but they're just so adorable. And these charms are so unique, what? I love. And again, they come with like a million of them. So that's amazing. I won't be scared to use them because I've got an abundance of them. Okay, these ones I am not gonna pour out because I am scared to make a mess with them and lose them. These are just like these really tiny like micro gems and I've seen them used in a couple different sets and I want to try to use them. I feel like it's gonna be very hard because they're so dainty and small, but I've seen people create really pretty designs with them and they've got such a pretty reflection to them too some more glitter this one's just another color of those like star ones that i've got earlier this is an interesting green mucky color kind of reminds me of shrek if i created a acrylic with this i would definitely call it shrek more glitter okay so this one is just like Ooh, first of all, kind of broken open a little bit. I don't know where that is coming from because this seems to be pretty tightly sealed, but um, this is just some black hollow glitter. It's like a mixture of chunky and smaller glitter, as you can tell from my finger. And now there's just gonna be black glitter on my fingers for the rest of this, so I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Okay, I got another shape of that really long e-file bit. I feel like this glitter being on my fingers is going to bother some of you. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to get it off and it's like not coming off. I think I got most of it off, I did my best. So yeah, I got like just more of like a tapered cylinder of this really long e-file bit. Oh, these charms are so cute. These charms are so pretty. <gasps> Dude, they're so sparkly. <gasps> What? Do you see this? It has, it's a little bow with a little dangly heart and it's got to be like cubic zirconia or something because that is so sparkly. I actually like myself, I prefer when rhinestones or charms are just like the regular crystal instead of the AB. Not just regular crystal, but like when they're regular crystal and super sparkly like this. Yeah, I definitely prefer this. They are so pretty. Wow. I love it. But yeah, I just feel like when they're regular crystal and really sparkly, it just looks more like diamonds because diamonds aren't AB. They're just like regular crystal. Okay, I got some just regular crystal of those super tiny little gems. I got two more of those little golden elegant flowers. So I got two of the gold ones and two of the silver ones, which is good. Very nice. Ooh, I got another ring. I do really love buying rings from Timu. They usually have super cute ones on there. And this one is also supposed to be sterling silver. And I think maybe also cubic zirconia. And from what I can see, it is not tarnished. Dude, that is so pretty. <gasps> I love that. I love that so much. It is so sparkly. Yes, I'm wearing that. I'm keeping that on. I got this mixture of like different little kawaii sweets charms. Little donuts, little ice creams, little cookies, random little panda bear. Pretty cute. Look at this little like Minnie Mouse ice cream. That's pretty cute. Yeah, these will definitely come in handy at some point. Like there's some random ones, like this little octopus. Like when am I gonna use a little octopus charm? Probably never, but you know. That, that's just the name of the game when you buy like random little assortments is you get some that are super cute, but you also get some that are like a little questionable. I got that same round of like the Kawaii Sanrio charms, um, but this one is glittery and transparent. Oh, 
These Kuropi ones are so cute. It's funny because even though I don't do a lot of Kuropi sets, one of my first videos that I made on this channel was actually a Kuropi Gel X set, so yeah. But here they are just compared to those other ones that I got, so yeah, I have like the matte opaque version and I also have the glossy, glittery, transparent jelly version. Okay, I got this assortment of different silver bow charms. So I got one super similar to this in the past, but this one is different than the one I got before because the one I got before only had two different types of bows in it, but, but this one has like a bunch of different types of bows. Like so big ones, skinny ones, long ones, short ones, whatever this one is. Bows are another one of like those staples that you can use in literally any set, so. It's very nice to have a large assortment of them. These have to be one of the cutest charms I have ever laid my eyes upon. I hate when they all come out just like upside down. It's like very inconvenient. But look at these, they're little animal chubby stars. Look at this little panda star. That is just the most adorable thing I have ever seen in my life. Um, I think I've probably said that like 10 times during this video that it's the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my life. But you know, like these, I just got like such adorable charms in this haul. I just like, oh, I can't even with how cute these are. I just love when things like look chubby and round. Like I love these chubby stars. And then these are like chubby stars with little adorable chubby animal faces on them. So it's just perfection. It's just absolute perfection. Oh, there's a little white bunny. That is too cute. Oh my goodness. I love them. If you didn't know, like my favorite animals are bunnies and pandas. My absolute favorite. They're so cute. If you couldn't tell already, and if you haven't seen any of my other haul videos before, when I buy nail supplies from Timu, I usually stick to buying like charms and rhinestones and glitter and like things that aren't actual like nail products, like gel or like chemicals, except for the primer and the dehydrator because I've used that one a lot and I know that it works for me. But lately I have been sticking to like reliable brands. I figure that it's probably good to just invest in some like reliable nail supply brands. But yeah, anyway, that's why pretty much all of this haul is like charms, but you can buy like gel polish and other nail supplies on Timu. Okay, I got more of those super pretty, sparkly, fancy bows with little dangly hearts, but these ones are pink and they are just as sparkly as the silver ones. Absolutely beautiful. I got these little lollipop charms. I've seen these used in also so many different nail sets, but I always kind of was like a little reluctant to get them because I don't know if they're my favorite with like the lollipop stick sticking out of them, but they would be really cute if I do like a little like kawaii sweet set. I got three different colors of these just like bows with little heart rhinestones in the center. So I got just like the white with the silver heart or like the crystal heart, the white with the pink crystal heart and the pink with the pink crystal heart. Another e-file bit. Oh, oh, okay, this one, I remember. Okay, so this one is a weird, so it's medium coarseness near the top and then it gets like coarser as you go down towards the bottom of it, which is really interesting. Um, so I guess like depending on like the angle that you use it on your nail, you can get different effects of coarseness. So that'll be really interesting to use. I don't know if it'll work how I'm thinking. I might just like butcher my filing with it, but we'll test it at some point. Ooh, another ring, cute. Okay, so this is an adjustable one. And this one is also sterling silver and it's very, very thin and bendy. Sometimes when you buy sterling silver from Timu, like this one over here, it is really sturdy and good quality and it feels like it's not going to bend and break. And then there's a the sterling silver like this where when it's adjustable, honestly, it's a little scary because I feel like I could definitely bend it and break it. That is so cute on my pinky. I'm gonna leave that on my pinky. A little round of butterfly charms. And these ones are all like silver and gold butterfly charms. Ooh, and there's some really big, like chunky, elegant ones in here. I wanna open it, but I've, oh, I did it. Oh, that's 
just crazy I did it like just look at how big and like elegant that butterfly charm is there's some really unique ones in here too and I really like how there's gold and silver ones in here because even though I am more of a silver girly sometimes you know sometimes gold just matches better with a set oh these are so cute they're little chubby animal charms. Like what? Little monkey, little seal, little tiger, little bunny, little unicorn, little sheep. They're just like chubby little animals. How cute. I'm nearing the end of my coffee. Actually, I just finished it. So I'm gonna have to finish up this haul video real quick. We are nearing the final, the final items though. These are like super dainty little lock and key charms. There's little heart locks. That's so cute. Another e-file bit. So this one is a tungsten carbine one. And of course I got it for the little crystal on top because I just love when things are sparkly. I just cannot resist. Okay, I got another color of those bows that I was showing you earlier. So this one's just like a light pink. Okay, this I'm pretty excited about. So I found these acrylic brushes on Timu. They seem to be 100% Kalinsky and they also had really good reviews on Timu from people who had bought them. So I got them in three different sizes because like right now y'all know, I have just been using my Panna brush and I love it so much. It's really good. But this Panna brush is like a $30 acrylic brush. And I honestly don't think it's really super necessary to buy a $30 acrylic brush. I like trying to find like a more affordable acrylic brushes that I can share with you guys. So yeah, I think these ones, well, the price will be on the screen, but I think these ones were like only $10. And and they're super pretty. Love that like wood texture. So I got a number 12 one and right off the bat, just looking at it, it does seem to be 100% Kalinsky just from what I can see with my eyeballs. Um, This one is a number 10 and I really like the design of this one. It's super pretty. This one is a number 14 and oh my goodness, this one is so cute. <gasps> Look at the little heart rhinestone design on that handle. That is adorable. I really hope that these work really well. I mean, like just comparing them side by side, the bristles, uh, they look very similar, surprisingly. I mean, this one does have like that product on it that acrylic brushes have on it when you first get them off the out of the box. So definitely needs to be like broken in and stuff. Looks pretty good. So I'm really excited to try these. These just like cheaper acrylic brushes are also just like perfect if you like collecting nail supplies that just like look pretty like me because it makes me happy. So yeah, like I wouldn't go buying three different Panna brushes and spending $100 on different looks of acrylic brushes, but these ones, they're each like $10 each. So they're cute to look at. I think it's worth it. Okay, I got these little like silver and gold seashell and starfish little charm decal things because obviously we're in summer right now. So when I bought these back in May, I thought I would do like a beach themed summer set. Uh, so yeah, I thought these would come in handy. I haven't done it yet, but maybe I'll do it soon. Okay, so that was actually it for that big bag, but I have one more little bag, just a couple things in it. So we're almost done. So I got actually four more of these little like liquid pumps. I use them for my isopropyl alcohol and my acetone and my acetone pump actually broke the other day. So I needed another one. And I actually just went ahead and picked up four because I also want to have a pair of them to keep in my bag of nail supplies for when I like do other people's nails because like sometimes I'll do my boyfriend's mom's nails and so I'll like bring my nail supplies to their house. Yeah, I just, I just want to have like a separate set of nail supplies for bringing around and using on other people other than myself. So yeah. I got two for that set of nail supplies and then two more for me to replace my acetone pump and then also another just like backup one. Really love these pumps. They're my favorite ones that I've tried. I used to have the glass pumps, but those honestly did not work very well. Although I wish they did because they were so cute. And recently I've gotten into nail stamping, like stamping polish and stuff. So this is my first stamping plate that I bought from Timu. Yo, 
look how clean and shiny that is. Yeah, I think these will be really cute because I don't really want to have to paint those old English letters if I want old English letters on my nails one day. It seems like a lot of work. It would be a lot easier to just have a stamping plate of them. Okay, and then the last thing in this whole haul are some nail stickers, of course, which I'm kind of sad because they came a little bit bent, but that's okay. They're still usable. There's these adorable Karomi and My Melody ones, um, which it's actually funny because it, do you recognize that little like graffiti Karomi in, in the center right there? I found that artwork on Pinterest and it was actually one of my art references for my graffiti nail art set that I did. So that's interesting. I'm sure that they did not pay to use that artwork. So that's a little concerning, but uh, maybe they did. I don't know, but I'm kind of guessing that they didn't. Anyway, very cute. I love these so much. And lastly, some root stickers. At some point I should definitely do like a fruit set of acrylic, put little fruit stickers and fruit charms on them. I think that would be so cute. Oh my goodness. And I love how these look so like realistic. Very pretty. Actually, why don't we just go ahead and add them to my big sticker book right now. If you missed the video where I organized all my stickers into here, you can go watch that if you just want your eyeballs to be blessed with adorable stickers for like half an hour. So here's my Sanrio section. I want to somehow make like little tabs in this like binder folder thing so that it's like easier to find the section that I am looking for. Cute. I don't know if I have like a dedicated fruit section. I don't think I do. Actually, I think I might. I do. I do have a dedicated fruit section. Perfect. That is so cute. Alrighty cuties, that is all I have for today's haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I am so glad that I finally sat down and looked through all of these nail supplies so that I can finally start incorporating them in my future sets. Setting my eyes on all of these adorable charms and getting like adorable new rings is, it's just exactly what I needed this week because this week has been a little stressful and I cannot wait to share why with you guys because it is a good reason like I said so hopefully I'll be filming a nails and chill video soon so I can fill y'all in on what is going on in my personal life a little bit more thank you guys for joining me in this Timu haul hopefully there will be a lot more hauls to come in the future because I am obsessed with buying nail charms and glitters and nail supplies in general as you all know thank you guys so so much for watching I really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did definitely definitely give it a thumbs up it, it's really it really helps me out a lot a lot definitely need that help right now i really appreciate you guys for it i love you all so so much i hope that you are having the most amazing day night week life cutie take care of yourselves cutie i love you i will hopefully see you in my next one bye cutie